everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I was sitting here thinking, what did I want to tell you today? There was lots I had on my mind. And one of the things I had, I was watching today, Frosty Tr Frosty's Travels. It's a motorcycle um, video. But anyways, he was talking about how time flies. And it's true, time does fly. You're, you're thinking about when you're 20, or going to be 20, <laughs> maybe you're, maybe sweet 16, start back there, or can't wait to get out of the, the single digits and go, you're going to be 12 or 11, 11, 10, no, 10. We'll start there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going backwards further. When you're, when you're 9 and you're looking to be 10, and then you're 10 and you're looking to be a teen, and then you're a teen and you're looking to be 16, I think, and then you're looking to be 18 and graduating, and then you're looking to be 21. Mm -hmm. Oh, now they're looking to be 21. I was looking for 18. <laughs> 18 was, was when... Um, I could go to bars, but I didn't go drinking. We could have we could have um, a little drink if we wanted to at home, so it was no big deal. And then at 21, we could vote. Mm -hmm. We couldn't vote until we were 21. But um, and then you and then you look forward to. Oh, I don't know what you look forward to after you turn 20. Maybe maybe Marriage. staying 20. <laughs> <laughs> staying 20 forever. Um, 20, then 30, then first thing you know, you're 40, then you're 50, then you're 60. Oh gosh, and you're almost 70. That's it's easy when even farther. But I want to live to 105, so I've got a long ways to go yet. Mm -hmm. So it's it's yet to come. But yeah, he was talking about how the time flies, and he was talking about the odometer clicking mm -hmm. instead of being a digital. They were actual clickings where you saw the number. Like I would be w driving from my mother's house, and I'd watch the odometer, and it would be like nine tenths of a mile. You could actually see the tenths real easy. And my new car, it's it's written different. It's not the same. You don't see the number turning. You don't see the tenths going by. No, and it makes it harder because. It was kind of fun because you know if you walked to a certain sign, it was four tenths of a mile. I'm four tenths of a mile from that sign, and that was where I was going to walk to. I'll walk to the sign and back, and then you know you've done four tenths of a mile. Or if you're going to walk to the red light or the school or something, you know whether it was a mile or two miles or what you were doing. You know, you could see because you could calculate it. And Or if it was to the cheese house. How far is it to the cheese house? And you knew how far it was to the cheese house. Do you have a cheese house? We have a cheese house. We did have a cheese have. house. We don't have a cheese house anymore. Now you've got to go quite a distance. Um, where was it we were camping when we went to the mm, cheese Cuba. house? Cuba. Yeah, Cuba, New York has a cheese factory. And they show you can actually go into the cheese factory and you see the big machines where the milk is processed to make the cheese. It's it's quite nice. And you see the Amish people there because there's a lot of Amish in the area and they would be sitting across the street and if you've got a camera with a big lens on it you could take a picture of them because they don't like their pictures taken. And when you're riding down the road, if the kids are in the back of the wagon, the kids will be waving at you and the, uh, the adults sometimes they wave too. It, they tip their hat or they they do a little nod, and um, in the stores you'll see them, and you wonder, what? Do, what? Do, this is this is all over the place. <laughs> but it's just kind That's of talking. Normal. It's my normal, and you know there was a few. Oh, now we're going on to something else. <laughs> there was a few videos where they say that they're just kind of rambling on. You know, actually, I can follow you. I actually enjoy the ramblings on that some of you do because it's just topics. It's like it's like as if you were sitting at the kitchen table with somebody having a cup of coffee and whatever pops into your head that's what you'd be talking about. And the subject doesn't stay 
on that subject because something else will come along and you'll be thinking of that and you'll move on to that subject and so this is what it feels like so when they're talking whatever they're talking I follow I can follow and oh my okay, goodness should be recording yes oh my goodness <laughs> I had forgotten to remove a lot of videos so whatever I was saying just a minute ago we're done with that <laughs> now we're gonna move on to something else and I don't know what I was going to move on to because I was just talking. I was talking about how I can follow people that just talk. And if you were having coffee with me, that's what our conversations would be going. I um, will tell you a little bit about Mr. Brown today. Or not Mr. Brown. Yeah, Mr. Brown. Mm -hmm. I was thinking for a minute I forgot <laughs> what I was going to talk about. Yeah, Mr. Brown. He's... he's um, actually got a different cage. I had a comment was put in there. I'm trying to think who put it in. Might have been Ruby. I don't remember. About getting a rabbit hutch. I actually have a rabbit hutch. I bought it a long time ago for a cat because my cat was going to be a type of cat because I didn't want the cat prowling in the night. And so I was going to put the cat in the in the rabbit hutch during the night. So, and when it would when I would open up the door, the cat used to go in, and it used to have its food down below, or the kitty litter down below, I think it was, and the bed was up above. Well, it worked out fine till he got so big. He was a, like he ended up being a man coon type size cat, which are huge. I had found him underneath the deck of the house, uh, actually the gazebo, and he was just a tiny little thing. He was probably about eight days old. His eyes were just starting to open up. Well, he grew and grew and grew, so he ended up getting the room that Mr. Brown has. It's, that was his room. And he stayed there for, oh gosh, he was there for eight years plus. Mm -hmm. And then he started pooping on the floor because... He was mad at me. I left him when we were we had gone away, and my daughter would come and take care of him. But he was mad at me, so I would he would poop in front of the kitty litter, and so I'd move the kitty litter to where he was supposed to poop, where he was trying to poop, and he would poop in front of the kitty litter. So I thought, oh, this is terrible. This little cat, he is really mad. He is not he is not going to go into the litter anymore. So I thought, well. I guess it's time for you to go outside and go potty. So we had him go outside. Then it got really cold, and I tried to bring him in. And boy, he didn't want to come in. He liked it outside. And so then he became an outdoor cat instead of an indoor cat. And so I have this cage that I use now for Mr. Brown. And Jim made me a roost to put inside it because the, the um, slots are different than the guinea pig cage. The guinea pig cage was actually easy because you could just slide the board in there, tie it to make sure it stayed well. The the slots are, are narrow and mm. they're up and down instead of this way. Instead of vertical. Mm. Or horizontal, I mean. They're vertical. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My math is coming out. Vertical or horizontal? Which way is which? Okay, they're they're vertical. They're not horizontal. <laughs> and um, so he had to take a piece of wood and he had to like put like a as if you were a tongue and groove. <laughs> he had to put a basically, tongue on it. Basically, basically put a tongue on it. Yeah. On both sides so that you <clears> could slide it between through the, the yeah slide it the through openings. the opening because the openings are about two inches. Inch. And, or an inch? Yep, they're um, only an inch wide. Well, his board is two inches then. Yep. It's wide enough. And so he can about roost half an inch off each side. And that slides in there, and it's perfect. And when I went to put him in there, it was like he didn't want to go in it. He climbed on my arm farther, and it was like, and then finally I got him on the roost, and he's looking around, and he's checking it, and then finally he sat on the roost, and I says, well, it must be he's comfortable now. So he was up in there. So that's where he will sleep tonight. He'll sleep in that cage. I do have the other cage still there. But I'm going to put him in the new cage because he can sit up tall if he wishes. And it's got a lot more headroom. So he should be fine. So that's what we did with Mr. Brown. 
and I'm all done talking. The camera, is, this is going to be pieced together. I don't even know what it's going to look like. So let's hope it looks okay. It flows. Oh, it always it, looks Let's good. hope it flows in there really nice. So if you want to, if you like motorcycle people, I would say check out Frosty's Travels. He calls me Little Lady <laughs> when he comments. <laughs> I think that's so cute. He calls me Little Lady. I am little and I am a lady. So I guess it works. It works. It works. It's perfect. It's perfect. Yes. Okay. Well, I will talk to you all again tomorrow. You take care. Bye-bye.